Okay. Uh, hello, everyone. Uh, welcome to join our panel. Uh, this panel discussion is uh, the topic is overview of intent based networks, requirements, uh, researches, sensations, and open source developments. Uh, there are four panelists in this panel. Uh, I'm Dong Wang from China Telecom, and uh, Henry Yu from Huawei, uh, Ke Guang from China Mobile, and uh, Ahila from Wipro. Uh, in this panel, uh, the first uh, uh, 20 minutes, uh, we, uh, are, uh, each one of us will give five, five minutes presentations to show our uh, researches. Uh, my topic is research and development of intent-based network for next generation networks. And Henry Yu will give his thoughts about the intent-based networking and the closed loop automation. Uh, Ke Guang will give his, re, uh, his topic about uh, research on intent network management. And Ahila uh, will give last talk uh, intent guaranteeing support for E2E slicing. Uh, uh, after the uh, four talk talks, uh, we will have 10 minutes to discuss about our words. Okay, so first I will give my uh, presentation. The topic is research and development of intent-based network for next generation networks. Uh, the intent-based network is a self-driving network uh, that uses decoupling network control logic and the closed loop orchestration techniques to automate application interns. An intent-based network is an intelligent network uh, which can automatically uh, convert, verify, deploy, configuration, and optimize itself to save target network state according to the intent of the operators. And then it can automatically solve abnormal event to ensure the network re reliability. Uh, we can see from the, uh, the figure uh, in the right, it's a high-level framework of intent-based network. Uh, first, uh, the user could input the intent and the intent translation uh, will translate it uh, to be the uh, required uh, network uh, uh, parameters and uh, then it will uh, do the activation words uh, to the physical and the virtual uh, network. And then the network can also monitor the network data and uh, uh, guarantee and guarantee the user's intent and then feedback to the users. Uh, it's a closed loop of the basic uh, intent-based networks. Uh, there's lots of academic papers about intent-based networks. Uh, there are two papers uh, uh, from our partners uh, in the universities. Uh, the first uh, paper uh, is uh, from uh, uh, Feng Gang Yang's, uh, Professor Yang's uh, team, uh, there uh, is a survey on intent uh, driving networks, which published in HV Exercise. Uh, they gave a survey of the intent networks. And so the two main uh, ideas for this paper is uh, they gave this side the enable, uh, enabling technicals of IBN are still in the exploring stage and the basic components uh, and the core architectures of intent-based network are based on different development, development logic and present different functional uh, uh, chapter, chapstics. Uh, so it means that the current research are still independently and they are not a common standardization words. Uh, the second paper is from uh, Mugen Peng's um, professor um, Peng's team. It's intent-based network for 6G uh, insight and uh, challengers. It gave an uh, overview of the intent-based uh, 6G network architecture. Uh, it shows the run access the, access the run network of the 6G network, uh, which is in, uh, based on the intent-based network. Uh, to support the smart network. Uh, there's also standardization, there's also many standardization words from most of the standardization uh, communications, uh, including ITOT, TSI, 3GPT, SA5, TMF, 
uh, ITF and the CCSA. Uh, China Telecom and also as a uh, uh, companies, uh, our partners uh, works on all of those transactions. For example, in ITOT, uh, China Telecom have, uh, have uh, uh, lead uh, standardization works on scenario and requirements of internet-based network for network evolution. And the second standardization, uh, which named uh, internet network management and orchestration for network slicing in MT2020 networks and beyond, as I know, is led by China Mobile, and with China Telecom also cooperated on these standardizations. Uh, in ETSI, uh, there's uh, ENIO. Uh, 13 is uh, intern aware network automatic Matic city uh, is uh, led by China Telecom and also we co cooperate with uh, Huawei with Hongrei team in Huawei on ETS uh, ZS words. The 3 GTP uh, words and the TMF words uh, which are led by Huawei and China Mobile and there are also some drafts that have been published in ITF. There's also a translation uh, led by China Telecom in CCSA. So uh, from the translation organizations, uh, all of those translation organizations are works on the internet-based network translation uh, works. However, um, as so far, not all of those translations are alignment. Uh, as I know that uh, uh, TMF has tried to align the uh, uh, research of aut autonomous networks, including internet-based network, uh, around all of those translation works, and also the open source network, uh, open source that uh, open source community, uh, including ONAV. Uh, the last uh, end, I will show our works of the open source development in ONAV about internet-based network. Uh, with uh, this work uh, have done by uh, all of the four partners uh, in ONAV. Uh, uh, based on ONAV, we have provided a basic model of intern-based network. The users could input uh, the interns and we can translate those interns in UUI. And then uh, those translated uh, requirements uh, will be uh, where I to uh, where be able to create a new use case uh, by the use case in SO, and uh, the users in turn instant will be saved in AI. The closed loop man management of uh, intent is uh, is done in DCAE, uh, which including two main parts. The first one is intern monitor and insights and also the intent uh, decision and performing um, based on the AI models. Uh, the, performance, the performing of the, require, uh, the requirements are done based on policy and the domain controllers. Uh, in the current, uh, in the intent network, intent-based network, intent verification is also required. However, in current, uh, uh, in current uh, ONAF, we can't find the uh, platform uh, uh, project to support the uh, intern verification and also other network or uh, verification works, uh, which could be used digital tools. And this work would be done in the future. Okay, uh, this is my talk, thanks. Give a talk on how closed the loop uh, automation may support uh, intent-based networking. Um, we will start with a uh, general introduction on the uh, basic concepts of uh, intent-based networking. Um, I borrowed this picture from a uh, IRTF draft. And in this picture, it highlights that the intent-based networking consists of uh, two main uh, functional uh, uh, components, intent fulfillment and intent assurance. Uh, to enable both, we need two control loops as shown in this diagram. The outer loop highlighted in red is the end-to-end -end, uh, uh, intent control loop that re uh, requires uh, a user interaction uh, with the intent system. 
Uh, in addition, there is a X, uh, uh, there is a inner loop highlighted in the blue color, uh, which is the classic uh, 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 zero touch uh, closed loop uh, automation. And, and that inner loop is the focus of our uh, uh, talk uh, for, for this presentation. Uh, the former specification of all expectations, including diamond service, given a technical system, the prices, uh, expectations that, that need to be realized without being intended, how to realize them. And the intent uh, decouples the uh, expectations of the system from the specific implementation details, giving room to allow the producer to deploy alternative options and find optimal solutions. The intent also reduces the degree of manual participation in the network and improves automation level and uh, operation efficiency. It can uh, simplify the network operation process, reduce the network operation cost, and uh, improve the uh, external business growth of operators. And uh, for a uh, current situation of internet research, the research on internet is still in the a preliminary stage and the operators and the, uh, and the operators and the manufacturer have not re reached the uh, agreement on intent management. And also local uh, of a uh, constant size on intent interface and the intent expression model. And the uh, local of a uh, definition of intent information model and the intent data mode. For China Mobile, our objective is to build a powerful uh, level autonomous network by 2025. We research on the key technologies, reference implementation and the industry standards of internet network management to ensure that the operation of internet network meets the overall expectations of operators. Uh, uh, hello everyone, uh, I'm Ahila from Wipro. So in this presentation, uh, we'll see uh, the working of end-to-end -end network slicing and how it can be associated with the intent-based networking. So in order to achieve the end-to-end -end network slicing, we have considered uh, different architecture options. So among uh, these options, option four and one are currently supported uh, within UNAP. In option four, so we will have a CSMF, NSMF uh, functions within ONAP and the NSSMF are kept outside of ONAP. That is, so it can be replaced by any third party component. So if you see the option one, so in this approach, all the management functions like CSMF, NSMF and NSSMFs, all the management functions are kept within ONAP. And uh, so in this uh, way, the network functions layer like uh, the core network functions are realized as cloud native functions and uh, run and uh, transport infrastructures are realized with the help of uh, simulators so these two are the currently uh, supported uh, architecture to discuss the first one is uh, uh, to introduce the progress and the target of ibm research in hours and the second question is about uh, the cooperation uh, our IBM research and development among the academic standardizations and open source developments. And last question is about uh, the, how to think about the contribution of open source development for IBM in next generation networks. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, I'm a, a research engineer in uh, Huawei and uh, for uh, uh, my work uh, and my team's work, we are mainly focused on the, uh, the research on how closed loop automation can uh, support uh, intent. Um, as we uh, uh, discussed in the introduction, that uh, uh, we are currently uh, seeking uh, to, uh, to use uh, uh, the machine learning uh, technology to enable a better uh, data analysis and, uh, 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 and the policy uh, um, uh, generation. Uh, and uh, uh, as said, we are uh, welcome uh, uh, other uh, participants uh, to uh, join us on this uh, research innovation uh, on the ONAP platform. Okay, good. Uh, so, Ke Guang, how's part of your work? Uh, okay. 
uh, for China Mobile at present, we check to the standards and the project of SunGPP, R3GPP, ETSI, TMF, CCIC, and RITF, and uh, compared and analyzed the research contents and uh, MFS, uh, and MFS is of, uh, uh, IBM of various standards organizations. We have internet related project uh, in ETSI, uh, mainly on internet policy. In the follow up, uh, we will pay attention uh, to the points that uh, have not been paid attention to and uh, the parts that have not been improved in the current standard research. And uh, from a uh, uh, consensus on general internet management related work by promoting cross SDO corporations such as general internet expression model and information model. And uh, our target is to reach uh, agreement uh, with the manufacturer uh, on internet uh, management, including internet processing and uh, related reference points, internet expression model, internet lifecycle cycle management. Finally, uh, promote the uh, formation of a general industry standards so as to ensure that the operation of the internet network meets the overall uh, expectations of the operators. Thank you. Okay, thank you, Kuguang. Hi, Ahila, how's about your work? Yeah, uh, yeah I'm part of uh, Center of Excellence in Wipro. So our, uh, most of uh, the contributions are uh, towards the open source uh, projects. Yeah, uh, we are uh, keen to work on the end-to-end -end network slicing use, use case. So our first step is to create a stable version of end-to-end -end, uh, network slicing. Then uh, on the on top of it, yeah, we are uh, further moving on to this IBN uh, support uh, to this work uh, to this uh, use case. So yeah, as the next step, we will be uh, uh, focusing more on this IBN. So uh, like yeah, uh, uh, in order to uh, integrate both this existing one app uh, use case with this IBN. Yeah. Okay, thank you, Ahila. Mm. Okay, uh, I'm from China Telecom, and in our team, uh, we focus on the research of next generation words. So uh, our research on intern-based network more, most of focus on the uh, next generation network, we also call it a 6G network. Um, and we think that in 5G network, actually in recent 5 about the recent five years, uh, we can't really uh, make sure the automation networks, including the intent-based network. Uh, and uh, the current AI for network is the outside model uh, for the current network op operation. It's not the native AI, uh, which we may think it would be make sure uh, in next-gen network, next, next generation network. So in our words, um, the first stage, uh, we focus on the, car the recent network and um, uh, we do our research, uh, including online to provide the basic platform and model to make sure the um, basic architecture and model of intent-based network. And uh, in the second stage, we also focus on the network of 10 years later, uh, based on the uh, AI native network, how could we make sure the aut autonomous network as well as the intent based network? It, uh, this is our work in China Telecom. Okay, thank you. So the uh, the second question, I think we come from uh, Ke Guang. Uh, how do you think about the cooperation with our intent based network among the academic sensations, open source, and so open source developments? Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, uh, first, uh, major standard organizations have carried out internet related standard project approval and research, which are in the initial stage and have their own emphasis. Uh, second, due to the uh, limitation of the characteristics of each organization, uh, the definition of internet related work is limited and not universal. Uh, third, the uh, intensive collaboration among uh, academic uh, standards organizations and open source is uh, conductive to uh, promoting the common intent management uh, uh, concern, uh, consensus in the industry, uh, better promoting the cooperation between operators and manufacturers. 
uh, accelerating the uh, formulation of interrelated standards and uh, enhancing the uh, practicability of uh, standards. Uh, thank you. Okay, thank you, Kuguang. Uh, Ahila, how do you think about the cooperation? Uh, uh, in case of open source, uh, so if you see the cu current uh, systems closed loop is achieved uh, almost. Yeah, but uh, with with the help of uh, IBM, I, I I'm expecting like it it could be more uh, automated, like with very less manual inter intervention. So in that perspective, yeah, it is uh, needed. Uh, yeah, uh, uh, yeah, we, this will be achieved. Uh, yeah, uh, soon. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, Henry, how's about your idea? Uh, right. So uh, I I uh, uh, definitely uh, favor a, a collaboration uh, between uh, the standard uh, standard organizations, open source, uh, as well as academic field uh, uh, in all three dimensions. Uh, currently, uh, we are uh, uh, trying to uh, bring more collaboration uh, between the. Uh, standards and the open source uh, implementation or development uh, uh, in the uh, intent uh, area. Uh, we are using uh, standards uh, from, for example, uh, IETF, uh, ZSM, um, and, uh, uh, and, and using that, uh, those standards and try to uh, align uh, the standards uh, with our uh, open source uh, implementation uh, uh, on the uh, ONAP uh, platform. Um, and uh, in the future, uh, we like uh, to uh, also bring the uh, academic uh, uh, research uh, projects uh, uh, into uh, our uh, uh, intent-based uh, 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 closed-loop uh, research initiative, um, and hopefully, uh, it's also on the uh, on, on the open source basis. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you, Henry. Uh, so from my opinion, I think that uh, all, all, all the academic standards and open source developments play, play the important role in the uh, research and development of internet-based network. Uh, firstly, uh, the standardization works most focused on the requirements and the application of industries. So it's really important to make IBN standardization, standardization, standardization uh, as I mentioned in the previous presentation, the current research on internet-based network have, haven't been standardized. Uh, the companies and also the academic research uh, focus on the independent uh, framework and ideas. So uh, I think the first uh, way the most and also the first the first step to do is to make IBN stand, standard. Uh, the university of the academic research in university plays the important uh, role. Um, most based on the AI model, the research and training of AI models. Um, and so far, uh, AI is still a step uh, in the third step research. Um, and uh, it will be able to apply it in the future. So currently, the university place have uh, they are, they do better works on the AI training, uh, and which is much better than the works in industry. So I think that in the current uh, research, the university could play a more important way on the AI uh, the AI model for internet-based network. And also they, uh, they provide some new ideas uh, for internet-based network. And also I think that it's important uh, to provide uh, uh, open source and uh, open source platform for the academic and also industry to uh, research and uh, uh, train and uh, uh, and training the uh, IBM models. Uh, so it's, it's really important uh, to have an open source um, platform like ONAP. Uh, I think that for, based on our work, uh, we will uh, provide uh, an open platform for both academic universities and uh, industries uh, to uh, training and research 
about the intern based network uh, based on ONAF. Uh, okay, about the last question, I think uh, we come from Ahila. So, how do you think the uh, open source the contribution of open source developments, including ONAP, for the intern based network research in the future? Yeah, uh, we plan to use IBN in 5G network slicing uh, for the two uh, scenarios, like uh, the uh, slice creation or like slice instantiation. So that we want to achieve it with uh, IBN. The other uh, scenario is like uh, the closed loop that I have uh, explained in my deck. Yeah. So in those two area, uh, two areas, yeah, we are uh, uh, like we are interested to work with IBN. Yeah, like we are uh, happy to collaborate with uh, your team and the other uh, open source uh, contributors uh, to achieve uh, these two aspects with IBN. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, how how's about your idea? Uh, right. Uh, I think I uh, uh, I could be uh, contribute uh, to the uh, to the IBN in terms of the uh, the uh, standardization of the uh, uh, interfaces and models, uh, especially the the southbound uh, sorry the northbound interfaces of uh, the uh, uh, the transport management domain, um, and I, I think it's quite important uh, for uh, the uh, interfaces to be uh, standardized such that uh, the uh, components uh, can interact each other. Uh, in the end-to-end -end, in the end-to-end -end, uh, orchestration. Uh, secondly, uh, uh, the uh, that uh, the models, um, the uh, there uh, as we see in the uh, uh, intent uh, 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 intent uh, uh, based system, the in both the intent uh, fulfillment as well as intent assurance requires a a, a multi uh, step of the uh, model uh, translation from the most abstract uh, uh, models or the uh, definitions of, of the user intent to the least abstract uh, uh, models uh, that uh, is uh, 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 the configuration of the, uh, of the networks. And the automation of such uh, a multi-layer model translation uh, is quite important uh, enabler for uh, IBN and uh, uh, I uh, I think that uh, we need to uh, put more uh, uh, innovation uh, in that front. Uh, that it will be uh, uh, our next step uh, of our research focus. Okay. Thanks. Okay. Thank you, Hongri. Okay. Uh, hi, Ke Guang. Uh, how's your opinion? Mm, okay. Uh, in my opinion. Open source is a good way uh, of uh, uh, experimental exploration and uh, cross organizational collaboration. Through development practice, we can clarify uh, the limitations and gap of current standards and uh, then uh, reverse promote the improvement and uh, formulation of uh, relevant standards. And we are also studying the open source implementation schema based on uh, ONAP. We are researching the introduction of a general internet process, uh, processing system in ONAP to uh, realize the several internet functions according to our standards uh, research. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you, Kugua. Uh, uh, so as I mentioned in above that uh, the open source development is really important uh, for the intent-based network. Uh, currently, we can say that the uh, IBN, uh, firstly, it will be true in the future networks, it will be used in the future network. Um, however, I think that we still need uh, maybe three to five years to make more, to do more work to, uh, on the IBN. Uh, uh, so I think uh, uh, based on current work, the open source development, including ONLAP, is the best way for all the companies and academics uh, to uh, test and development the new ideas of, about IBN. Uh, so I think that uh, hopefully, uh, hopefully uh, based on our work in ONLAP, uh, we can uh, make IBN uh, in advance for the applications uh, in 
last uh, several years. And in the end, I think uh, we uh, so thank you all for.